we're counting up to the 10 largest markets for polyethylene film. I'm Jim Calari, Editorial Director of Plastics Technology Magazine, and I am joined in this series by Kevin Huntsman. Kevin is president of market research firm Mastio & Company, and what we'll be talking about in this series is based on exclusive research of polyethylene film consumption conducted by Mastio. Welcome, Kevin. Good morning, Jim. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, thank you. Kevin, we've covered construction film and agricultural film in our first two installments. Let's focus now on polyethylene film for meat and poultry, which according to your research is the eighth largest market for polyethylene film. What are the big trends in that market and what did you learn as a result of your research? That's a great question. As you mentioned, it's, it's the growing market. We, we profiled 28 producers for this particular market, Jim, for meat and poultry film. Uh, interesting market. There's a lot of technology that goes in behind a lot of this film that you don't see in some of the other more what I call true commoditized type industries uh, within the film industry. So obviously shelf stability is key. Uh, the, the appearance of the product on the shelf is key. And through this research, we profiled, like I said, 28 companies uh, converting about 750 million pounds of polyethylene for this particular market with the growth rate in the high twos. So not not the biggest growth market, but as the population increases, which it is, and, and we need to feed more people. So there's an inherent increase tied into GDP as much as anything when you look at meat and poultry film. Right. Any technology trends? Do you speak of in terms of the type of polyethylene that's used, the type of extrusion process? Not really. It's it's a pretty tried and true industry as far as you look at some of the different structures. Uh, we are seeing some three layer structures that are becoming more popular, even some seven layer where you've got some PVC, you've got some EVOH, and you've got some other polymers in there that are other than just polyethylene. So we continue to see that. I mean, you're looking at a market that's about 90% blown film and you're looking at a market that's about 90% co-extruded. So as we talk about that three layer, seven layer, that technology piece, and as these machine companies work with the converters to, to continue to improve that process is key is what we're finding. And this is like a lot of markets, this is a heavy linear low density market. And within that linear low density family of resins, which is about 64% of that 750 million pounds, Jim, is metallicine. So Interesting. Allocene's a big chunk of that, a couple hundred million pounds for this. No surprise, that, that technology obviously has been in, around for a while and continues to become even, even more popular in markets like meat and poultry. Uh, Kevin, appreciate your insights. Uh, our next presentation, we will talk about consumer and industrial liners. Looking forward to your insights on that market as well. Thank you. Thank you, Jim.